Hi there! Probably you have already seen a few data structures and all the theory. However, how do you know which data structure to use in a real case scenario? In this video, I will explain you how you can easily choose the correct data structure for your coding problems. I will show you a diagram that really simplifies the process and show you the key factors you need to consider when choosing a data structure. You will need to pick a data structure that helps you to solve your problem, minimizing the amount of code you need to write, so your code is easy to maintain over time. You also want to make sure your code is efficient. That means it will complete the task quickly and it will be able to process a large amount of data in a reasonable time. In technical terms, you will say that the code is scale well as the load increase. The most used data structures are the following arrays, linked lists, trees and hash tables. To pick the appropriate data structure for your problem, you will follow this process. There are other factors to consider depending on the problem, but this is a great process in most cases. First factor you will consider is the amount of data you would like to store. In case the amount of data is small, you need to consider if the amount of data is predictable. If the answer is no, a linked list will be a good data structure. If the answer was yes and you have a small amount and the amount of data is predictable, next question is what are you going to use more often? insertions or searching. If you are performing more searches, the order array will be more suitable for this case. If you are planning to perform mostly insertions, the order array will be faster. So let's go back in our diagram. If you have a large amount of data, next question will be do you need searchings and insertions to be fast? If so, you will choose a hash table. If the speed of insertion and searching is not so important, you will use a tree. The tree could be order or an order. If you need the data to be ordered, you will choose a balance tree. If you don't need the data to be ordered, the binary search tree will work fine for you. Let's practice this with an exercise. Let's say we would like to find the maximum difference between elements in an array. For instance, we have a following array. The maximum difference will be 8, which is the difference between 1 and 9. One way to solve this problem will be finding the minimum element the maximum element and see what's different. We could do this easily if the numbers are ordered. Now, let's use our diagram to pick the structure. For this example, let's say that we know that the amount of numbers is not going to be larger than 100. So, first, we will consider the amount of data. 100 is a small amount. Next question is, is the amount of data predictable? The answer in this case is yes, because we know the size of the array beforehand. And since we need to find minimum and maximum, we will use searches. So an order array will be the correct data structure for this problem. We reach the end of this video, where we cover how to go about choosing the correct data structure for your programs. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please feel free to subscribe so you are notified when I upload more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching!